All right, this is going well. Melrose, Larry Green, go ahead. Howard. Yep. Here comes some good radio. So there's a Muslim, a black guy, an illegal alien. They walk into a bar. Bartender says, so what are you going to have, Mr. President? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Eric the actor. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, quickly, uh, just for Eric. Hello, Eric. Good morning. Now, here's uh, Bobby Rudy uh, made another statement about you. Have you heard this? No. Uh, here you go. you got a real feud going, apparently. Uh, Eric, uh, this is from the wrestler Bobby Rude. Okay, Eric. Here's the deal. You want to come to Bound for Glory? You got it. I'll fly you first class if I have to. I'm going to get you a ticket to the show. A good ticket. Not a cheap ticket. A good ticket. And if you want, possibly even get to live your dream and become a professional wrestling manager. That's what you wanted to do your whole pathetic life, isn't it? To be a professional wrestling manager? Well, this might be your opportunity, Eric. But all you have to do is get to Bound for Glory. But here's the deal. When the show is over, I'm going to do something that I've always wanted to do to you. And that's kick your ass <laughs> and shut you up once and for all. And when I'm through kicking your ass, I'm going to get a bunch of balloons and I'm going to tie them around your pathetic little body. Then I'm going to proceed to drop kick you into the California sky and personally watch you float back to Sacramento <laughs> to your disgusting apartment and your disgusting bed to do whatever pathetic, disgusting things you do there. That's the deal, Eric. Take it or leave it. Well, what do you think of that, Eric? Because I think she intimidates me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you going to take his offer? I guess we would like to be, be there. I don't know if his offer sounds like the way I want to do it. <laughs> he says he'll fly you there first class, but he's going to... Which Bobby Root is amazing. I mean, he's going to take a guy in a wheelchair... Who, and kick his ass. Who has you know the coordination of a you know admittedly right uh, Eric of like like a, a stuffed animal, and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna beat the shit out of you and tie you in with balloons and fly you back to your apartment. I mean it's amazing. You know I love a guy Wait who a lives up to his name. Right, Bobby Rude. For, for, for starters, I don't live in an apartment. Right. I live in a house. Well, I knew that. And another oh another thing. I have coordination. I used to be a wheelchair athlete. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? What game did you play? A wheelchair baseball, soccer, and bowling. Hmm. Wow. Well, you know what I mean. In other words, your body is not uh, fully... You're past your prime. Right, right. <laughs> and your body's not fully usable, let's put it that way. I mean, it's pretty easy to kick your ass. Yeah. And by the way, not to brag, I happen to be a wheelchair athlete as well. <laughs> and have won several uh, titles. So, thank you. I, all of my sports I play in a wheelchair. First did of all... Did you know that Eric was a wheelchair athlete? I did not. Uh, and I don't think Eric knew I was one. Which is weird, because you're probably like, well, Howard, you're not disabled, but... I, I have the uh, abilities of a disabled person. It's the only way I could be good at sports. I play against disabled people. <laughs> hey, Robbins. Not that funny. Well, wait a minute. What do you do when the going gets tough? Do you get up and use your legs? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Sometimes I stand up and make the shot in the basketball. <laughs> and everyone's all jolly. I'm like Superman in wheelchair athletics. <laughs> and people are like, wow, this fucking guy's amazing. It's uh, admitted, Admittedly, I cheat, but I don't care. I want to win. Hey, lots of people are cheating mm -hmm. in athletics these days. Oh, and... Before I forget, I completely agree with you on what you were saying yesterday about Heidi's comments about the comedian. There by the way, any, do you think there's that... There's any comedians all right, that all right. are child-friendly. Right. Uh, by the way, Robin, do yes. you believe that Eric was a wheelchair athlete and, and was competitive? No. I don't either. I really don't, because Eric's, you know... I mean, no, I would love to see that league. <laughs> yeah, because Eric's, in, in my opinion, maybe in some of the worst shape ever in terms of his, you know, disabilities. 
And I can't even imagine... Uh, unless he was playing against guys with, like, CP. Baseball? Come on. You have How tape you of that? baseball? You have video of that? I'm sure I have team photographs. No, I mean video somewhere. of you actually playing. Somehow I think that doesn't exist. <laughs> I think I have a game or two that was video. I can't remember. I and mean, like, what position did you play? Well, they pretty much stuck me wherever I wanted to. It, stuck it being have, the key word. <laughs> it, it wasn't where the players had a assigned position. And they, did you ever, did, when you hit, do you use a, in other words, you hold a bat with, with both hands and were unable to hit? Yeah, off of a baseball tee. Right. I could do that. I should the, get into the this. First league, the first league I played with, I actually used a contraption that the creator of the league came up with an electric bat, which was a, a bat hooked to a car battery that you hit and button and it swung the bat for you and hit the wiffle ball. But the second oh, league, get I, out. Sounds like more cheating than anyone. Uh -huh. I mean, it's barely second baseball. I yeah. I actually used a wooden bat and a tee. I tell you, I got to get into this. I could be a, a superstar. A tee, yeah. yeah. This guy, Eric is severely disabled. Well, why would you call yourself an athlete? Well, hey, he's playing. He's playing some kind of <laughs> cockamamie game. Please, he's hitting a button. Sounds like a video game. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're athletes too. <laughs> oh, life's a bitch. I like that Second Bobby Roode's going to beat up Eric. <laughs> That's <laughs> unbelievable. See, I would if I was Eric, I would take him up on this challenge. Yeah, you got to go, because Eric. Because there is no way this guy's actually going to do this. i got to see Bob. When Bobby Roode sees you in person, <laughs> he's just going to get on his knees and cry. you got to go. you got to well, go I've to this event. In, I've seen him in person and twice. Right. And, and he, he's never drop kicked you or anything. Uh uh. Oh, it would be so nope. great if Bobby Roode actually like <laughs> was out of his mind. <laughs> I mean, that's the funniest thing I ever heard. All right, I did, gotta go, Eric. Did, did Gary get the voicemails I left? Yes, I got your voicemails. <laughs> what is it? They're, they're just more boring stuff about. Oh no, addition. Yeah, they are just about how we have short memories and that he can play a manager. Just it's, it, You're so verbose, Eric, but I will pull them because I want you to like me. All right. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Okay. All right. Bye for now. You guys off next week? No, we're here, I think. Gary, are we here next week? What? <laughs> what did Gary say? You were talking oh. to me about something. Yeah, I said, are, you, are we here next week? We're not? Oh. No. Where are we? Yeah, Where are we? I, I thought I thought I had heard you mention yesterday oh, wow. that the twenty fifth you were doing a special Oh you're on right. The channel. Yeah, I just didn't know what day it was. I gotta He doesn't know uh, what we I don't I don't even know. People tell me sometimes I even show up when when we're supposed to not be here. How does are Eric, you serious? Yeah. How does Eric know but not me? Well, I don't actually. Yesterday you talked about FME week. I don't. I actually go on the street looking for Ronnie, and he's not there, so I realize we're <laughs> off. So you don't get here. Right. I don't actually get here. I I, I stand there long enough, and I go, oh, he must be off. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> Keeping a calendar would be a good idea. You're uh, supposed to well, be Mister Calendar. Yeah. Well, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget to look at it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we. I know. I'm confused too, but yes, evidently, I guess we are off next week, Eric. Okay, thank you. So the, the acting uh, thing with Jeff will be in a couple of weeks then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I would get a coach if I were you. Yeah, you got a couple of weeks to rehearse. <laughs> right, and I will win the part of Harvey. All right. Thank you. Um. Bye. Bye. Eric, the actor, going up for the part of Harvey in a film against Jeff the Drunk. Lest anyone think he's out of his mind. He really is up for a part. <laughs> he really is, yeah.
Yeah. I miss when he used to say bye for now. He doesn't do that anymore. I don't know why. It was a great sign-off. All right. There was a story in the newspaper. Let me get to a bunch of things. Story in the newspaper. Uh...